Pulling into the ramp here. What's up you guys and we are back at it and I'm in Winter Park, Florida at Lake Baldwin. Um, I was here, I came once about two years ago, it was in October and actually did pretty good considering my trolling motor went out so I was kind of crank up, moved to an area I'd fish and then I'd kind of, the, the wind was kind of low, uh, drift around and fish and then I'd crank up, move to another area and kind of fish around. So uh, it's it's a clear lake it's a deep lake it's about 195 acres it's got a lot of eelgrass peppergrass and probably hydrilla but i hadn't seen any yet um, the dock's pretty nice it drops off nice and deep the water looks low but i didn't have any problem other than the fact that there's a lot of slime on the docks you want to make sure your tires don't get in the water that much because i had a little problem uh spinning out but i put it in low gear and and then we were good to go. So, um, see my glass time, and I'll post that video right here. Um, we're gonna start out with just some um, traditional Florida search bait, speed worm, chatter bait, maybe a swim jig, and just move around. There's one area, I think it's the northeast area that has a little ditch that runs up, and then it has a hole that runs kind of close to the bank. So, fish that and then move over the grass and then probably outside the grass. Um, I want to say it gets to 20 feet in here, but I'm not completely sure. We'll know more here in a minute, but relatively clear tannic type color water, traditional kind of Florida Lake. So let's go see what we can do. It's about seven o'clock, first week of August. Um, so let's go catch some, I'm excited. So the water temperature is 85 and a half and we're supposed to have a, a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind, it changed the other day it was supposed to be five to ten i think an east northeast wind pretty high chance of rain partly cloudy and the rain and the bigger wind supposed to move in about 11 or 12. i'm gonna work this uh plopper over some of the shallow water before i move out a bunch of monkey eelgrass what we got so far all right we just moved out nine feet now but we don't have an edge. Something just swirled at it. And this is a 110 size whopper plopper. Ooh, there we go. First fish of the day. Take it. Uh, not as big as I thought. Sure felt big when he hit it. Thank you, buddy. Jeez, chunky. Well, that didn't take long. That's good. Like I said, I'm using the 110. It's a little bigger than what I want. I've got a 90, but it's not in this chrome black. I want to get some of those, uh, I think it's the 75 size. So they're small, but they still have that big tail on it. That's a really good size. So two days ago, it was the longest day of the year. So from here on out, the days are getting shorter. Should start sending a message to some of these fish. It's kind of crazy that, I mean, we still got August and September, which is summer, but should be telling some of these fish to, to get a move on. All right, we got some open water right here. So I'm gonna, some low grass. This is that little ditch I was talking about. So we're gonna worm it for a minute. Ooh, golly. Look at all that. Uh, that's probably a bunch of brim or crappie. Either 
away, I'd say we need to be around them. It could be a water bass, but I don't think so. Twelve feet. Ooh, there he is. Good one, guys. Here we go. Stay on, stay on, stay on. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Damn, boys. It's a good one. Probably three. Wow, split tail. Interesting. Take that, probably. Yeah, probably three-ish. Three on the dot. Let's see if we can get a couple. Picture. It's pretty close to the boat, too. Nice little tap. You just picked it up. He was going, I was trying to catch up to him, just kind of slow reeling. The water looks like it's come alive a little bit too. And I didn't really even get get my line tied. I was just like, I need to set it before he swallows it. Oh gosh, look at that guys. Just moved in. Offshore fish move in on this brim school. That's a good one. Bars and grass. Oh, stay on. Oh, that's a good one. God, it's real. Oh. Get in here. Let's go. That's why you get up and you go fish a new way, guys. That's probably three eight. I was waiting for a low wind day to come here because this this lake is relatively low and flat, so it gets three thirteen. Three thirteen, guys. Put him in a box with this one. So I got 15 pound test on. Eh, there's a nick there, but I want to get back in here real quick. Cause we haven't had any turbulence on the water, as I was saying. And after I caught that one, starting to see a little ripple line. Fish over there. So as I moved out, I saw bright area kind of blotched up off this grass line over here. So I threw over here, first cast. Got a bite. Oh, there he is. Goodness gracious, he's small. Goodness, brother. Two and a half. 
freaking joker hit it swimming it in they want to hit the freaking speed worm that's crazy How about a two pounder huh your wrist when you <laughs> when you setting it like that goodness Thought that was gonna be a big one because it was such a minute bite. There he is. There we go. There we go, boys. I thought that was a fish. Jeez, pound and a half, almost two. Just like that, you'll see fish, and it's right over top of the grass. That's the areas I'm working. There's quite a few. Good Lord, look at that, guys. Right there. There he is. Is he small? Yeah, he's small. Golly. Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> I'm like, do I have anything on there? Freaking just dragging him. Swimming. Where's the big ones at, guys? Where's the big ones at? All right, guys, we are out. I'm gonna get out of here, beat the, the rush hour. Beautiful lake, a lot of shoreline cover. It's massive grass, uh, mucked up eelgrass. There was a boat just spraying pads, reeds. Uh, most of the shoreline is really shallow and bogged down. Be perfect for frogging, but there's, I don't see any activity. Um, but there's some deep edges. Deep bank, shallow bank, like I said, pads, pretty water cl clarity, um, but it's pretty dark uh, and stained, but it's it's relatively clear. I was probably getting three, about three foot with my worm, but if I put a trap or something on, you could see it, probably eight feet. But um, <clears throat> fished outside edges, I mean, I moved in shallow some too, but I mean, my primary pattern was fishing the grass edges, um, they kind of petered out around 16 and then 10 they were pretty high worked at 14 range is where I was seeing schools of I'm guessing brim or crappie and they were bunched up and, and it seemed like every area I went to once I got in that 14 foot area you'd find big schools over the grass and when I did I'd just stop and I'd fish that area and I'd pick up a few the morning bite was better with no wind surprising but that's kind of how it was last time I came here uh, and then I just picked up random small ones here and there and they came up every once in a while in certain areas but no significant schoolage I caught a couple on Cinco and everything else came on a mag trick worm 
three sixteenth ounce. One on that whopper plopper first thing, which was small, but nothing on moving baits, but I, I had several hits reeling my worm in, but they wouldn't hit a crankbait, chatterbait, speed worm. So, interesting. But I'm gonna let these two go. Here's the two big ones, the, or the biggest ones of the day. Outside grass edges. Pretty, pretty fish, pretty lake. So we will see you next time, guys. Appreciate you watching, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Be Mass Fishing. We out.